All right, guys, so I logged out uh, before the Horde Night was over, and I guess that means they respawn. So we have a second group that just spawned in. And we got a cop. Ah, uh, great. Where's our Molotovs? Do we use them all? Damn it. Come on. Let's get them out here. Oh, damn it. Cop. He's down. I should have put the three round burst on my uh, gun. There's the morning. Now they're all walkers. So we weren't quite finished. I'm hearing loot bags drop though. We got more wanton destruction though. Die! Somebody's still beating on stuff in here. You! Oh my god. Somebody's trying to break up my house again. It's you! I think that's it. So, yeah, the reason why I was logging back into this game because I'm going to continue along with it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot of stuff in between episodes. So, let's just get back in here. I was getting ready to drop all my guns and I'm like, why am I hearing zombies? Sure enough, they respawned inside my base again. I guess if I was pointing this way, they might spawn behind me. I don't know. But what I'm planning on doing, I'm going to continue the series. See if we can go to day 60. I don't know. Maybe we do. Um, let's get the repair kit on the guys that we need here. So it's just the AK. Um, so what I'll do is... Um, I'm going to leave this stuff in. Well, let's take it inside with us. What do we need to leave in here? Nothing, I don't think. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue along, and I'm going to build um, a whole new base. But I'll like be doing that in off episodes, and I'll just give you an update when I record an episode what's going to happen. So most likely I'm going to build up from here, go straight across that way, and out there we'll build the horde base. So if the horde does spawn, it should be out there somewhere. And then um, we'll repair this one, and this will be the backup base. I'll leave everything kind of as it is. I'll replace all the spikes, replace any barbed wire we lost. Um, gonna fix the house back up again. Let's get down here and get these loot bags. I think we're okay if we jump off here. Yeah. Um, and then, um, once that's done, like once this base part here is repaired. Wow, that was lousy. Um, thought I heard a zombie there for a second. Once this base part is repaired, uh, we'll then start doing the uh, um, sorry, I'm just making sure that there's nothing left down here. I'll start working on the new base. Then when I'll, what I'll do is I'll log back in. Um, why he decided to go for that, I don't know. I'll log back in and what we'll do is we'll do um, when, I'm, when, I, when I'm doing an episode, it'll all be POIs. So I'll lock back in, we'll do some POIs, we'll see an update to the base, see how it's coming along, and then, um, you know, we'll have some interesting episodes, and then all the stuff that I'm doing mining and things like that to prepare for the next horde. You won't have to be, like, troubled with watching all that stuff. Oops. I'm gonna have to get some more mushrooms out here. 
and Kofefi, which we never used. We should have used it, but... Uh, all right. So I am going to stop this part of the video here. Uh, and I will probably spend most of today working on the base. See, this isn't broken. Now, I've seen so many videos where they complain about the land clock claim block being broken. I think if you up the number of days, um, inactive days that you're on, like if you leave it normal, I think it's like one day or something. So if you if you don't play for a day, it becomes inactive. Whereas mine's set to like 10 days. So if I haven't played for 10 days, it should still be active. Mine has not deactivated the entire time I've played. So I'm not sure why other YouTubers um, have lost their uh, land claim blocks while they're playing. It's just confusing to me. Um, but once again, I don't know all that much about the game, so maybe I'm wrong. Um, okay, so I'm going to put all this stuff in here um, for the next Horde night. And then, like I said, I'm going to go out and um, start repairing all this building. And when I have something interesting, like hitting up a POI or whatever, I'll come back. All the mining that I'm going to do, all the wood cutting. Um, like when I start to build the new base out there, um, I'll show you all the framework, what I'm planning on doing. Um, I got an idea for the four pillars already, how I'm going to build the tower, like the four pillars up and everything. So I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure I know how that's all going to work. Um, but yeah, we'll I'll get all that done off camera, and then the on-camera stuff will just be me... Um, hitting up POIs and stuff. It was interesting to see that we could restart that horde. I completely forgot about that. Other YouTubers have done that where they'll log off in the night and then log back in again after the horde's over to get a second horde. So if we find next time we do the horde night that the horde's pretty thin and we handle it without a problem, that's what I'll do is I'll log off in the middle of the night, log back in, and we'll have a whole second horde wave come. And depending on how the building structure is doing it, we'll doing it. We'll we'll probably do that until we find the structure the building's, you know, going to have an issue, and then we'll uh, we'll stop. All right. But I'm going to end this part of the video here. When I come back next, I don't know what what I'll be doing or where I'll be. Most likely, it'll be after I repair all this and um, get a framework up for the new horde base or whatever. So yeah, we'll see you when I get back for the next little bit. All right, guys, so I spent a little part of the day. You can see the time there. It's like 5 o'clock. Uh, fixing the base, and now all the repairs have been done. So it took me, you know, two-thirds of a day to affect all the repairs on the base. Uh, that's including all the spikes down there. I don't, did I get them all? Did I miss that one? That looks, I think that's just down a little over there. But I re replaced all the spikes. So 180 wooden spikes, 9 iron spikes, um, forged iron uh, drop for, I had 110 in here, dropped down to 24, which wasn't that bad. Um, that's from repairing the doors, repairing the iron spikes down here, making 12 iron spikes and stuff. So that cost uh, forged iron really, really cheap overall. Uh, concrete mix, I had about 150 or so in here when I started. So I used maybe 400 concrete mix at the most. Um, I had a couple thousand wood in here when I started. So two, I mean... Was it two? Little, yeah, a little over 2,000 wood, I think. And I made 180 spikes out of that. So, and then it was a little bit of wood damage on the inside that I re repaired and stuff. I had to replace a few blocks with the wood, and that was it. I think it was two frames I used. Um, I had, I think I had 40 flagstone blocks when I started, down to 20 now. So that wasn't that much. Cobblestone rocks, I had a little over 700. So I didn't use very much of that. I accidentally double tapped on a few things out here so you can see there's random concrete blocks that have been put in place and there's a couple of random iron spikes around here uh, that I hit by accident. So overall, yeah, not a lot of damage. A lot less than I thought it was going to be. Um, so there was some a little bit of damage along the side of the building here uh, which you can see I've kind of gone along and replaced here. Accidentally double tapped this but I'm going to be replacing all this. Oh, there's some wood here I didn't see. Um, so yeah, I mean, they did a little bit, but not a terrible amount. Like not anything that wasn't not repairable. You know what I mean? It's like all totally repairable. So I upgraded this a little bit. The two wood pieces in here were knocked out. This was all knocked out, but now it's all repaired. I mean, they almost tunneled their way in. The door was damaged. I don't know how they got, I guess they must have gotten up somehow to the door, but at least we had it reinforced, which was good. Right, and on the inside here, not a lot. I mean, this was done by me, right? And this was done by me. 
so they didn't get to this door. You know, it, the base fa fared really, really well overall, so all this has been repaired now. Uh, they damaged a few blocks back here, but I think that was me shooting. Right? There was a bunch of blocks that were damaged by like a couple points here or there, and like especially over there. There was a lot of cobblestone damage. I think that was me shooting at it. Uh, not hitting the zombies and hitting the cobblestone because, you know, that's how I roll. Um, but yeah, overall the base fared really well. I mean, other than them spawning inside here, um, everything went well. I mean, if I had done what I said I was going to do and filled this whole bottom spot, spot here with spikes, we would have taken significantly less damage. Like a lot of these guys would have died due to the spikes. And when they went out that wall and came around here, yeah, there was like, I think it was like 80 spikes I had to replace on just, just this side over here alone. Um, it was like close to, a, yeah, 80, it was around 80 to 100 spikes just on this side alone. And I got all those repaired and replaced. Um, then there was a handful over there, maybe like 30 over there I had to replace. And then a bunch along this side here I replaced. And then a couple over in the corner over there. But other than that, it fared really well. And I think the spikes did most of the work. I didn't do very much killing. So, which is probably a good thing because my aim was really bad. But yeah, uh, overall, I'm really, really happy with the way the base performed. Not happy with my performance on the base, obviously, but uh, other than that, you know, we did really, really well. And I think probably what I'll end up doing, I'm going to leave the steel arrows in my inventory. I'm just going to start running with steel arrows all the time now. Range damage is 31, pretty good compared to the stone, which I think was 24 or something. So, uh, and I might be going, going on doing some night stuff too. I might wander around at night, see how well we fare in the nighttime. Um... But yeah, so, yeah, I'll be back in probably a little bit. I'll, I'll probably do one more bit before we uh, finish up this episode. Uh, I think I won't be doing it right now, but I'll wait for the night to go through, and then I'll set up the framework for the base outside, and I'll show you guys what I'm planning on doing for the next base, and we'll uh, go from there, all right? Okay, guys, so I'm not going to do this very often, but I'm just going to show you what can be achieved in one evening. So it is the next morning, uh, day 32, and... Um, Basically, uh, I went down below, did some mining. You can see I picked up 1,302 iron, which is awesome. A uh, whole bunch of clay, a whole bunch of stone. Um, I found an iron vein, which was amazing. So that's great. So we're going to get all this iron going because we're going to need a lot of rebar frames. So uh, I did pick up a bunch of sand. Um, you know, like I said, clay, lots of stone. Um, I've got more stone going now for concrete. So uh, that is good. Uh, yeah, that's how we were doing concrete. Um, picked up a ton of coal down there as well. So um, yeah, we'll be able to make um, uh, more gunpowder. Now we did go through a fair bit of ammo. Uh, let's, let me show you here. So we started off with almost a thousand rounds. We were down to like 435 or something. So we went through a bunch of AK rounds. Not too many. I didn't hit much with it, but uh, you know. I think what we'll do is we'll put the modifier in it that limits it to, th to a burst of three. That'll probably help me out a fair bit. Uh, there was a wandering horde that kind of wandered back there in the middle of last night while I was just about to go down below, and they wiped out a whole bunch of spikes back there. I was like, no. But they did drop a loot bag. I picked up an engine and a couple of, I don't know, whatever the hell it was, a couple pieces of food and that uh, honey or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So I am going to go off and do some more work and I will come back when I've got a bit more to show you. I'm probably going to head over to the desert today because uh, in order to make all this concrete we need a crap ton of sand. we got lots of stone now but sand is the one thing we're missing so I'm going to head over to the desert do that today um, and just go sand mining all day I think. Uh, don't need that. And yeah that's probably what I'll do. I might even spend the night there. If things get crazy I'll, I'll record it over there. Um, but we got more of this going too. Let's actually get more stone in there. Take all of this. I'm going to leave this going for quite a while, I think. So let's put half of this in here. Uh, and then just drop all this stone in. Um. Alright. So, yeah. I'll be back when I got more to report. I don't know if this episode will be over or not. But, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, I want. I know I said I was going to lay out the framework back there, but I need to get a lot of rebar for that first. So once I get that, I'll come back and then I, I will lay out the base at the back, just kind of show you, and then that'll probably be the end of this episode. All right, so I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, well, I was not planning on doing this today, but we have traveled a fair distance. Um, I did a ton of uh, stuff 
picked up a ton of materials in the desert. Oops, no, we want to get, well, at least we're reloaded. Uh, I want this. I want to drop as much as I can in here. Yeah, so we grabbed a ton. We don't need this. We grabbed a ton of sand. So we got enough to make uh, 36, or sorry, 6,600 concrete. Uh, picked up some other concrete and cobble, some stone, a bunch of stuff. Actually, we don't need the rotten flesh. Let's leave that out, put that in there. Um, yeah, I, we're going to go in this popping pills. I just traveled south. Let's have a look at the map real quick. Um, I just went straight south. I figured I'd go down and see what was here. Found a town because I needed a place to stay. We got two drops we can pick up later on. But uh, And I found this popping pill. So I thought, what the hell? Let's go in here. Let's wake them up. Come on, guys. Wow, you're just uh, going to stand there, huh? Football player. The double tap. Oh, shoot. Don't do that when I'm uh, reloading. Got the duck bill on here to spread the fire, but it's not working very well. Oh, crap. Sprint away. Ah. That guy had a lot of stamina. Well, here they all come. All right, we can switch up to the bat now for the first little bit. That's not a cop, so that's good. Okay. I don't know if that, that guy over there is going to be a runner or not, so I got to be careful. Okay. All right. Whoa. Excuse you. Well, there's Mo. At least he's not sneaking up on us this time. Okay, so he's gone. Laying Mo out. We're out of stamina. That guy's taking too long to get out. Let's go give him a hand. Actually, let's get these feathers first. Where is he? Ah, oh, Jesus. Really? You had to pick the hardest part to break out of? Really? Come on. You better not, like, go somewhere else after I break this. There you go. Yeah. Shit, we woke somebody else up. He's a runner. Another runner. We're waking everybody up today. Wow, I'm a lousy shot. So many of them are awake now. Alright, let's go over here. Hopefully they'll forget about us. Unlikely, but they might. We just need to get one beaker. That's all we need. One beaker is all we need. Now we found the last one down here. It's no guarantee that I'll be here again. Come on, one beaker. Just need one beaker. Oh, come on. Oh, for Christ's sake. Hoping to find water. Meh. I 
I hear you outside. I'm probably going to make my way to the roof for the evening. Oh, there's the beaker. Nice. See if we can get one more. Well, we don't have to worry about medical supplies for quite some time. I think they finally broke out over there. We'll go deal with them in a second here. Still doing good for time. Okay, laid you out fast. Okay, it's all quiet out here now. Let's go see who's in the back rooms. Yep. They're coming for us now. See if we can find a uh, cooking pot. That's a runner outside. Yeah, you have fun breaking in there. So many medical supplies. Oh, it's a white. Dude. How fast can we break in here? Pretty quick. I think there's a ladder to the roof outside. Because most likely we'll be up on the roof all night. I mean, I could jump on the bike and just ride home, but... Scrap this. Okay, got a bit of water. Wow. Not even gonna wake up, huh? Yeah, baby. Steel arrows for the win! I think it's just you left, right? No, nope. thought there was one more. Guess not. So he's either inside or giving up. Nothing. Some animal fat. Coal. I think he's inside. No, I think he gave up. Nope. You don't give up that easy. Alright, we need to make our way to the roof. You know, I probably could ride all the way home. Maybe I should. I'm kind of full. Yeah, we're full. Let's get home. Oop. Excuse me. All right, we're just going to stop and grab this supply drop real quick. Let's see what we can put in here. I don't know if we've got anything that we can drop in here. Oh, a little bit of animal fat, stone, clay. Okay. Uh, what else? Anything? All right, a little bit. Nice. All right, what do we got in here? Watch, we have two beakers. Well, we can sell that uh, paper we got. Uh, can we take it all? Sure, why not? All right, let's go. 
Nighttime's coming down. See how many runners we can get in the way back. I didn't hit any zombies up until now. There's been pretty scarce, but there might be some runners out tonight, so let's run them over. There's our nighttime symbol. Uh, let's, uh... Why does the helmet not, not, light not work on the bike? What the hell? Oh, here's the first candidate. What's up, buddy? Alright, where are we here? We close to our house already? Oh yeah, we are. Okay. That was fast. We only hit that fire zombie, man. I thought we were a lot farther away. Oh, here we go. We got a guy right here. Ah, not so bad. Those guys are too heavy to get good good air on them. Gonna have to fix this ramp over the next few episodes, too. Ugh. Ah! Oh, you know why? We had the shotgun out. Why do I hear sleepers? Why do I hear sleepers? That could have been from across the street. Alright guys, I'm going to unload this shiz. I know we said we were going to work on the back this episode, but I'm not going to do that. Now that we got our beaker and make the alchemy still overnight, next episode we'll have that up and running. And we'll get some more concrete going, and then we'll work on the uh, the framing for the back. And then, I don't know, I'm not sure what else we'll do in the next episode, but at least we'll get that shown. Um, it might be a couple of days advanced from now, because I might do a few things in the meantime, um, like secure the perimeter and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. All right, until next time. If you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can drop any comments or questions in the comment section down below, even suggestions, whatever you guys think I should be doing. And then until next time, we'll see you later.